Hello and welcome to Jason's Daily Motivation Podcast. And my website is jasonnewland.com. It's still a bit weird making videos. I haven't really made videos for ages. Anyway, here we go. Ah. Today, well, only listen when you can safely close your eyes, just in the event that you get so bored that you fall asleep. Okay, so but it's not a sleep session. It is a positive, motivational session. And I want to focus on something that somebody sort of sent a message to me. So it's about... I'm sure how to word it, the best way to word it. I suppose caring about yourself, trusting yourself, believing in yourself, not allowing the things that other people have said to you or the way that other people have treated you in the past to affect how you perceive yourself now in the present and going forward into the future. And I'm very serious about this because it's affected me and I reckon I'm pretty safe to say that everybody, everybody has been affected by stuff that's happened in the past. And everybody has had some, they've experienced uh, a degree of, it may be verbal abuse, maybe physical abuse, maybe bullying, maybe it may be off the chart, you know, complete uh, on, a, on a different level of serious uh, sexual, physical violence. It could be all kinds, emotional abuse. Um, the thing with emotional abuse is everything is emotional abuse. So if it's someone's being sexually abused, violently abused, being controlled, um, it's, it's an emotional thing. It affects the person emotionally. So I'm not here to counsel you because I can't do that in a short video. just the message that actually you know what you deserve to be happy and I know that's what I said yesterday and I will continue to say it so if you get bored with repetition especially repetition um, of positivity and kindness then go elsewhere honestly because the whole point of the repetition is for it to sink into your mind, to actually become part of you. That's what it's about. That's why you don't listen to or watch a video like this once. You keep listening. Keep listening, especially if something really sinks with you. It's kind of like, oh, wait a minute. There's something there. Maybe you hadn't thought about it in that way, from that direction before. Maybe before you're listening to this video, or watching this video, listening on the podcast, because I do this, this is available on iTunes and Spotify and everything like that, as well as YouTube and my website. You... Even if you hear me and you think, it's just, it's just a weirdo with a beard. What's he on about? When you hear something that actually resonates with you, it starts to play back. And you start to think about it. You start to really think about it and it starts to bug you. Not in a bad way but in a way where you start to think, 
you know, he's got a point. I do deserve to be happy. I'm not going to live forever. Unless you're a vampire. I'm guessing you're not. Why allow stuff from the past to ruin your future? Because you're the only one allowing that to happen. It doesn't feel like that. I know that. But it's true. You're allowing it. It's like you're allowing that person or that situation from the past to still mess with you, to still affect you. You can't change what's happened. It's happened. And it's horrible. Whatever it is, whatever the situation for you, it's horrible. And I realise there's also going to be some people that maybe listen to this where you're still going through something. Where maybe you're living with someone that's not treating you the way that you should be treated. I can't tell you what to do in that situation. Um, I know what I would say, but I can't say it because uh, I don't want to be held responsible for what other people do. But once you start, your self-esteem starts to rise up and you start to look yourself in a mirror and you see, you don't see a victim anymore. You don't see this person that can't, that's helpless, that you know, can't do anything. You don't see a small child anymore. You're actually an adult. You have more power than you realize. And I don't mean superpowers like Superman or Spider-Man. I'm talking about real powers of the ability, the strength to make changes, to say, that's enough. We all have the ability to do that. To say, oh, no, 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 no more. And the ability to plan for the future that you want. Because your future starts now. And you may say, oh, yeah, no, every tomorrow never comes because that's today. And I don't even mean it like that. I mean, what you decide now is going to affect what happens in the future in the way of what you eat now is going to affect your health in the future. I really should listen to that advice myself, but hey. The people you know now, the people you spend time with, is going to affect your future. What you do with your time. The things you say to yourself is going to affect your future as well as affecting you in the moment. So when you realise that, you can start to make changes. And that change can be as simple as being nice to yourself, being kind to yourself, saying, you know what? I'm not gonna be horrible to myself anymore. And when you start doing that, you start to think, well, I'm not gonna allow anyone else to be either. Why should anyone be allowed to hurt you? No. And some people will hurt you by accident. They will emotionally, they'll say something, a throwaway comment, and, you know, it'll emotionally affect you. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff, because I do that myself. We all can do that. We don't mean to cause distress to someone, but it might just be a bit flippant or not know the situation. I just realise I think I've got a stain on my t-shirt. Be kind to yourself. Start now. I'm not talking about tomorrow. I'm not talking about next week. I'm not talking about in 10 minutes. I mean now. Right now. I'm serious. One thing I say to people, and I've said it for years on videos, would you say that to a small child? So if you say something horrible to yourself, ask yourself, would you say that to a small child? And if the answer is no, stop saying it. Stop. You're just as important as a small child. 
In fact, you are the most important person on the planet to you. You're the only person. Who else has spent their entire life with you? From birth to this moment now and for the rest of your life. It's only one person, that's you. 24 hours a day, every single second of every day for the entire of your life, you have traveled on this journey. No one else has been with you that whole time except you. So be kind to yourself. You deserve it. You deserve to be happy. Uh, I'm getting so angry. Be, be, be kind to yourself. So I'm going to go. So remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye. Now I'm going to press the stop button.